been released on the 17th of September 2013 on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, later being released on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Also having one of the biggest release launches in gaming history with a profit of over $1 billion, Grand Theft Auto V is one of the biggest games Rockstar have ever made. In this documentary, I will be covering the different topics of Grand Theft Auto V, including the story, online and the gameplay. Grand Theft Auto V is the first game in its franchise that lets you play as not just one, but three protagonists within the game's story, each with their own personality and background. First, there is Franklin, a former gangbanger turned car thief that loves the, the thrill of street racing and bank robbing. There is Michael, a former bank robber who dislikes retirement and his current life, wanting the thrill of bank robbing back in his life. Like, you don't know who I am! And finally there is... Your cousin! Come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a f***ing drink. That's right, Trevor, the craziest one out of the lot, who has a little bit of an anger issue. Now would you get me a f***ing drink? I'm not going to ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and f get me something. You go too. The game is the most realistic in its franchise, with extra added detail on the Xbox One and PS4 versions. Although the gameplay isn't entirely realistic, I still feel though Grand Theft Auto V is the most fun, especially online with friends. Grand Theft Auto Online lets you customise your character's appearance and personality, while also being able to customise your own vehicles and weapons. It also lets you do jobs for main characters from the story mode, such as Lamar Davis, Lester Crest and Trevor Phillips. You can do these jobs by yourself or with friends. As you can see from the pie charts, I asked people if they have played Grand Theft Auto V and if they enjoyed it. Most people said that they have played GTA V, as you can see that the blue represents, and that they enjoyed playing it. This shows overall that GTA V was the most likely played by people who own an Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Another well-known gameplay mechanic that has been in the Grand Theft Auto franchise since the very first game is cheat codes. These codes can allow you to add certain adjustments to your character by letting him do things such as walk fast, super jump and the ability to make NPCs explode on collision with a punch. Cheat codes also allow you to spawn vehicles and adjust the overall environment by slowing down time and having zero gravity. Over the two years that Grand Theft Auto V has been out, Rockstar have released numerous DLC packs that give the player extra vehicles, clothes and weapons for both Grand Theft Auto V and Grand Theft Auto Online, all entirely free at no extra cost. One example is the most recent Lowrider DLC pack that gives the online part of Grand Theft Auto a new garage that gives special lowrider vehicles a new set of customization options such as hydraulics, a new style to your steering wheel and a whole new look to both the inside and outside of your car. Rockstar also bring out season themed packs for holidays such as Christmas, Halloween and Independence Day. Rockstar's Rockstar Editor and Director Mode is another DLC pack that was originally released there uh, with the PC version and was later released on both the PS4 and Xbox One versions. This new mode allowed you to create and edit your own recorded clips, as well as playing as every character within the game's world, both people and animals. On the PC port of Grand Theft Auto V, there are mods that allow you to create almost anything, such as skins and props. As you can see, someone has made their character the Hulk and added the ability to grab things and run fast.
Furthermore, the PC Grand Theft Auto 5 is further detailed in graphics and gameplay than the Xbox One and PS4 versions, as you can see from the comparisons. Rockstar have also brought in mechanics from past Rockstar games. For instance, the driving mechanics in Grand Theft Auto 5 are similar to that of the Midnight Club franchise, also made by Rockstar, due to the high request of better driving mechanics from the previous Grand Theft Auto 4 title. Grand Theft Auto 5 is known for its extreme violence and language which is why when real life crime occurs, people are usually often quick to judge that video games such as Grand Theft Auto 5 are the main reason for this travesty. Which the recently made drama, the game changers show uh, how these certain events were like for the developers to deal with. We sold a million units in one day. The British genius behind the most lucrative video game ever. This is beyond what film can do. We're going to create the first truly adaptable hero. Versus the man on a moral mission. It's recent revelations demonstrate what little regard these Brits have for the welfare of our children. The battle over Grand Theft Auto, the fastest selling entertainment title in history. Daniel Radcliffe, Bill Paxton, The Game Changers on BBC Two and BBC Two HD. Recently, Rockstar have not had any similar problems happen, apart from the odd lawsuit from celebrities such as Lindsay Lohan. Grand Theft Auto 5 also uses an app both on Android and iPhone which is connected to the game that lets you check your stats or edit your vehicles also having an exclusive feature that lets you take care of Franklin Clinton's dog, Chop. Doing so will let Chop do things that he wouldn't normally be able to do such as tricks as long as his happy meter is full. You can check this by going on the app
Rockstar have also currently not mentioned what happens next to the Grand Theft Auto franchise, excluding the monthly downloadable content for Grand Theft Auto 5. We will have to wait and see in the near future what Grand Theft Auto 5 or the overall franchise have next in store. Thank you.